Kia ora. I'm Darren, and this is Selena, and this is Kia ora Oz, WNFK. Welcome to the next episode. Kia ora Oz, kia ora whanau. Um, so, welcome to the next video. We have turned south. We're heading now in a southerly direction towards a place called Cambo and then on to Charleville. Um, which should see us into Burke sometime early next week. Um, so we've been to Longreach. We had to get, head back um, about half an hour out of Emerald. We stayed the night there at a place called Anarchy. Um, and uh, I had to shoot in to get a parcel at Emerald, which still hasn't arrived, so I don't know where it is. So um, we've redirected it to Burke. Hopefully it makes it to Burke before us. Um, it's spare parts for our Starlink, which should have been in Emerald on the 5th. But for some reason they can't find it at the moment, so hopefully we get it. Um, yeah, so on to Tambo, then Charleville, then Charlotte Plains, then Burke. Um, so we're two nights in Charleville, we're one night tonight in Tambo. Uh, but it's a bit of a goat track at the moment, so I'll show you that in a sec. And uh, yeah, we're on the way again. Talk to you later. We got fifty dollars. We got sixty. Do we hear seven? We got sixty dollars up here. Do we hear seventy? We got sixty dollars. Do we hear seventy? We got sixty dollars. Do I hear seventy? We got seventy. Do we hear eighty? We got seventy dollars here in the middle, ladies and gents. Do we hear eighty? We got seventy dollars. We got eighty. Do we? Hear? We got ninety. Do I hear a hundred? We got nine dollars here in the middle, here, ladies and gents. Do we hear a hundred? We got nine dollars going once. We got a hundred, we got a hundred and twenty. 
We need to hear 140. Don't look at him. He's already spent 160 or 80, all right? He will give you no support apart from bye, bye, bye. All right, so we got 120 there. Do we hear 140? We got 140. We got 160. Do we hear 180? We got 160. Do we hear 180 going once? Oh, we got 180. He just wants a better half. Don't listen to him. We got 180 here. Do we hear 200? We got 180 here. Do we hear 200 going once, twice? So well done. We are on lap number one here at Chicken Racing in Tambo as we turn the corner. Who have we got? We got Ginger Ninja continuing that uh, form lap form. Here we got lap number two. We got Pink Fits. We got uh, Sparkles. All right. We've got the whole. We had trainee chicken number two, ladies and gentlemen, as we hit the halfway mark. We got two laps to go. Oops, oops, we got terrible driving. I pulled out of it somehow. Right, here we go, ladies and gents. We don't play chicken. Give me a hug. Here we go, ladies and gents. We're on the final lap. If you've got a chicken, cheer her home. Well, here we go. We lost the food. We got bumblebee. Thank you very much. Morena. Um, so we're in Tambo. We've had a couple of um, one night stands over the last couple of days while we've turned south. So we're in Tambo. Uh, it's really interesting. When we pulled into Anarchy, there were a whole lot of these cars parked outside. You'll, you'll see the photos on the video. And um, we went in to check in and the lady said oh we have the dinner on tonight um, $15 a head, whatever so I thought oh yeah we might as well do that instead of cooking turned out it was a dinner and a show so we had Elvis playing <laughs> an Elvis impersonator not the best Elvis impersonator in the world but anyway so then we pulls into Tambo and I'm checking in and the lady goes oh you're going to the chicken races tonight what chicken races <laughs> anyway she explained that they have chicken races behind the pub every night raises money for a kids a kids charity for outback kids so <laughs> we went to the chicken races anyway what happens is you they auction off the 10 chickens and then they race them and the winner gets half half the, the pool the other half of the pool goes to the charity so uh I asked Selena what chicken she wanted. She wanted a green one. Honk. It got to $120. As Selena told me to stop bidding. My wife told, told me to stop bidding. <laughs> so we missed out. Turns out that chicken lost. So I saved you money. <laughs> it was for charity, dear. I still have saved you. It is less than the money you've given that kid and buddy, see? Whatever it was. Anyway, so heading off today, we're heading to Charleville and we'll spend uh, two days there in Charleville at a camp called Evening Star, recommended by Uncle John. Thanks, Uncle John. And uh, yeah, we'll be there for two nights. So we'll take you along. Talk to you later. Bye.
Dempa. Got your Dempa? You got a big bag. Yours is heavy. Yep, it's okay. It's nice. Right? Okay. Right? Morning. So we're in Charleville in a camp about eight kilometers out of Charleville called Evening Star. It's called Evening Star because apparently this is a great space, place to see. Was it Jupiter? Yes. Jupiter. When it's not cloudy. When it's not cloudy. Uh, so yeah, we came in yesterday. Um, it was a pretty easy drive actually. It was a nice bitumen all the way so no problems except for the last 500 meters um, and we set up then went and had damper by the campfire that was nice mm, that was so nice we'll do that again tonight massive campfire the guy put two wheelbarrows of wood onto the fire I said to him put a few rocks on there and I'll dig you a hole <laughs> um, so yeah we're going to go and have a look in Charleville this morning and then probably come back and just chill out at the camp in the afternoon have a bit of a break mm. and then uh, we're booked in to go and do a star thing tonight well no sorry no we're not we're on a wait list we were booked in last night but clouds rolled in and uh, it was no point couldn't see anything so We've been put on a wait list to go tonight, so hopefully we get to do that tonight. Otherwise, we'll just have to stand and look at the map. Tell you where. Yep. So, yep. So here tonight, and then tomorrow we head out to Charlotte Plains. And I haven't told Selena what's there yet, but you'll see that when we get there. We have to go now. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye. Well, we're paying a visit to the World War II secret base. Uh, it was an American air base. Their uh, B 52s came in to be serviced. Housed about 3,500 personnel. Sorry, not B 17s, B the Pine Fortress. Uh, should have been a bomb, site, person, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. 
We're in the heart of the yes. I'm talking to camera. Mm So um, travel day today, we're heading further south to uh, a place called Charlotte Plains and we're camping at a boar camp. So there's a hot artesian boar that you camp next to and anyway, we'll show you that when we get there. We had a great night last night. We, um, after we spent the day in, or well, the fifth part of the morning in Charleville, we went and saw the secret world but world war ii base that the americans had here and we went and saw the flying doctors yeah rfds and the, that was really interesting i really quite interesting that and then we went to um the cosmos center but last night after uh, after the fire and damper we went and had a stargazing experience mm. so about seven o'clock it started and we went out um, a guy that used to work at the Cosmos Centre runs it. He pointed out a whole heap of stars and all that sort of stuff with a massive telescope. And uh, yeah, it was really interesting. And the, the skies here at that time of night, like you, there's just no light pollution. So it mm. was amazing, really, really amazing. But it culminated in him pointing the telescope at Saturn, and we had a look through the through the telescope at Saturn. Oh my God. It was exactly it was. like you see in photos. It, this telescope just showed it up. It was awesome. So, yeah, if you're ever out this way in Charleville and uh, you're staying at the Evening Star Camp, I highly recommend doing the Star mm. Walk or doing the stargazing stuff out at the woolshed. It was it was well worth um, the money. All right, so we're packing up and we're out of here. We should be out of here in about an hour um, and we'll start heading south again. We've got about a two and a half hour drive today. Talk to you later. Bye.
temp oven feed tonight. So uh, we're just going to have, um, I don't know, I don't know what you call it, my makeup. So I've got some spuds in the camp oven, some roughly chopped up onions, and then I'm making a sauce of canned tomatoes, garlic, Maggi seasoning, and whatever else I can think of. Some corn, and then we've got some broccolini as well, we'll chuck in there. And on top of that, two pork chops. Right, so we'll put them in the camp oven, like I said, get a few embers for us. She's burning okay. So, we'll see how that goes. Morning. Uh, so, we're heading out to Burke today. We made a bit of a boo boo because we're going to have to travel four hours. I didn't realise it was that far, but anyway. I'm sure I'll get a sleep over the years for that. Hmm. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Um, so we're going to a station just outside of Burke. Um, so this will be our second border crossing. Um, well we had uh, dinner last night by the fire. Um, we went and had a bath before that in the hot, in the hot pools. Or the hot baths or the boar. It was really nice. Mm. Took a beer and a girly drink down and we had a drink while we sat in the bath so yeah goodbye to Queensland today and into New South Wales um, so we'll uh, take you along with us Kaki to bye campsite which is about 40 kilometers outside of Burke so we're at the back of Burke and our um, fridge magnet says back of Burke there you go um, so yeah we're here uh, we got in yesterday it was a bit of a marathon yesterday the drive mm. it took us about four hours but anyway oops <laughs> so we're here, here tonight as well so we are going to take a run into a place called Louth because we've run out of milk because Selena didn't remind me to get it when we are in the supermarket. Mm. Silly. <laughs> um, so, um, and then we're out of here tomorrow morning heading to Cobar. So that's the mining town uh, in Outback New South Wales. So we'll uh, see you there, or we'll take you along for the ride, or all of that stuff. Okay. Bye.
of a crappy day today. A couple of little showers. The first rain we've seen since Cape Palmerston. Which is interesting. First time I've had a buddy hoodie on for a while. Anyway, um, we're in this place in the st on the station. It has a powered site. And then down by the river you can go unpowered bush camping. But it's a quaint little place. Um, got a shower, it's got toilets, um, they're old but serviceable and clean, and it's quite nice. This camp kitchen, how cool is this? Come down here in front of a roaring fire. Another fire pit there. Pizza oven. <coughs> Awesome. Even the coffee machine. Firewood out the back there. Anyway, yeah, then it's a short walk down here to the river. Uh, speaking of the guy opposite, he threw a line in. I said there wasn't much happening. Caught one, caught a carp. Uh, yeah, carp's pretty shitty, so I don't think I'll throw a line in. It's too cold. Not really fishing weather. And I don't really like carp. No one really likes carp. Not sure what the river is. I'll have a look later and put it down the bottom. Drain up shortly and have a real good look. Anyway, nice spot to stop. Be even better if the sun was out. Um, dirt roads in, dirt roads out. So I think we'll pretty much be on dirt all the way to Cobar tomorrow. So I might tape up the vent and the door. We're just getting a little bit of dust through there, but otherwise we're pretty good as far as dust concerned. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much and we have wet, muddy roads. So anyway, we'll be moving on. Oh, morena. Morning. Bit of a lazy day yesterday. We just uh, hung around in the van because the weather wasn't crash hot. We did a quick ride into Louth and filled up and had a look there. But then we came back and watched movies. Uh, sun's coming out again today, but it's uh, it's pretty cold. So uh, we're on the road again today. We're heading south again, heading to Cobar. Uh, so we've got one night in Cobar and then a night in Still Mount water. Hope, Mount Hope, and then we'll be crossing the Victorian border. So I'm expecting the jeans and shoes to come out in the next couple of days. All right, so we'll take you along with us. Talk to you later. Bye.
Miranda. Morning. Uh, we are in Cobar, which is a outback mining. mining town in New South Wales. Um, absolutely hammered down last night while we were in bed, but we were all tucked up in bed nice and cosy. But we've got quite a bit of rain here. It's coming out blue skies today, but it's cold. Um, and we're noticing bikes and long pants. Yeah. We're noticing the drop in temperature, so I'm in jeans for the first time in I don't know how long. Six weeks. Since I think last time I wore jeans was in July. Yeah, but where? Um Byron Bay. Um and shoes. I haven't had shoes on since then either. So anyway. Is what it is. I blame my mother. Um, so yeah, we're continuing our journey south. Um, we um, got a short hop today of about an hour and forty to a place called Mount Hope. Um, hopefully, we're just going to crash in the back of a pub. It's a pub stay that uh, is on Wiki Camp, so we'll do that. And then after that, we're into Griffith, where we'll spend. Uh, a couple of nights, maybe even three nights. I can't remember. Wow. Was it Griffith or Denaliquin first? I don't know. Don't be Hold on. Don't uh, look it up now. Eh? Hey? Don't look it up now. Why not? No, Griffith first. Sorry, Griffith, then Darlington Point, then Denaliquin, then Griff, then Bright. No, Echuca, then Bright. <laughs> anyway, we're heading south. Getting colder. And we'll take you along. Alright. Talk to you later. Bye. So we're uh, overnight stop in Mount Hope, which is what I can see, just a pub. <laughs> so the Royal Hotel, Mount Hope. I guess there's, there must be some life somewhere around here, but on the main road, it's just a pub as far as I can see, and the fire station. Uh, so we're here overnight, halfway between Cobar and Griffith. And so we head into Griffith tomorrow, which is, I guess, that's the end of the outback, and we're into the Riverina. So we're going to end this video here, and uh, get it up online. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and sus subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, hit the bell button, so you know when we put videos up. We're trying to do them once a week and um, give us any comments, ask us any questions, etc. etc. below. I'll just show you where our campsite is, where we are over there. We were the first in, we're a little bit close to the road, but. I'm trying to get the easiest path for us to get up to the pub tonight with the wheelchair. It's starting to fill up now, about four, four or so vans have popped in. So 
so I'll say there'll be a fair few at the pub tonight. You can camp on this side, there's plenty of room. Or on the northern side there's room for two or three vans maybe. And I think you can camp across the road there as well. I'm guessing those guys are doing lunch stops. So uh, we'll see how many come in. So uh, that's it for now. Um, I'll show you the pub and then uh, we'll end the video and start the next series which will uh, see us into Victoria. And it's getting bloody cold so hurry up for the spring.